Pigeon pose is so good for your lower back and for your hips. It's important to have good alignment in this posture. Starting from down dog, draw your right knee towards your right palm. Set it down. Make sure that your right knee is wider than your right hip. So you might need to walk your right knee a little bit more to the right. Then you also want to make sure that your left knee is as far back as you can get it. So literally tuck your left toes under and then walk your left knee back. Make sure you're not leaning to one side. You don't want to be completely leaning on your right or left side. You want to be settled equal weight between both the right and the left hips. You should be able to bring your hands up to your hips or to your front leg. If the stretch is too deep, that might feel impossible, but bringing your hands up will help you feel that alignment and equal weight between both sides. If you need more stretch, if you're not feeling anything, walk your left knee further back until your front right shin becomes parallel to the front edge of your mat. That'll help you feel a greater stretch. If you're still not feeling anything, you can add a twist by weaving your left hand through and lying down on your left shoulder. So again, drawing the right knee outside your right palm, setting it down. Right heel closer to your groin means less stretch. If you want more stretch, again, you're walking that left knee away from you towards the back to increase the distance between your groin and your heel. This will give you more stretch as well. Make sure you're not leaning to the left or to the right. You want weight equal between both sides. And you can rest under your palms, your forearms, or even down on your belly. You can also rest with your hands on your hips. Feel free to put some padding underneath your hips or underneath your belly as you're resting here. The twist should add a greater intensity. You want to mainly feel this in your right hip, right hamstring. You might feel a little bit in your right lower back as well. Be mindful, you never want to feel any pain or pinching in your right knee. If you feel that, that's a sign to back off. So here in the video, I just walk the left knee back a little bit more to intensify the stretch. And that brings my right shin more parallel to the front edge of my mat. If you are indeed feeling any pinching pain in the knee when you do pigeon pose, this is a great alternative. Lay on your back, flex your right foot, and cross it over your left knee. Then draw your left knee into your chest, Take your right hand through the hole you just created in your legs and wrap both hands outside your left shin. Think about pressing your right knee away from you as you draw your left knee towards you. You can rest here if you need even more intensity, straighten your left leg and draw your left leg closer to you. You can also wrap your right shin close into your chest by using your elbows around your foot and your knee. Keep your right foot flexed as you extend and press your left leg down into the ground. If you want to do this a little bit more passive, use the wall. And you get to rest and breathe while getting a great stretch. That's Pigeon Pose. Be mindful, take it on your back if you feel any pinching or pain in your knee at any point. Enjoy this wonderful stretch for your low back and hips. And if you want any more classes, recipes, or tips, find me online. Whoop whoop.